What's good YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another remake video. Today we'll be remaking Lil Tecca's track Ransom, so let's get straight to it. First things first is go ahead and change our tempo to 90 beats per minute. And uh, we're going to start off with that main sound that we hear throughout the entire record. It's a little bit of a difficult sound to recreate, but we're going to try our best right here using Logic Stock plugins. So let's go ahead and draw in that pattern, but first let's bring in a sound. We're going to go over to Logic's ES2 synthesizer and uh, we're going to scroll down here. It's off my screen, but we're going to go to synth bells and we're going to go to little big men. Let's close that for now. And uh, let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. Go ahead and repeat that. I'm going to duplicate this over eight. Duplicate this over two octaves. All right, so there is our main sound right there. All right, next let's go ahead and open up ES2 and just manipulate this sound a little bit. We're gonna pull down the sustain. We don't want to sustain so long. We're gonna pull down the decay as well. We just kind of get like a pluck sound. Something like that is good. Maybe we'll lower the release time a little bit. All right, so this sound is gonna take a, uh, a couple sounds to layer up and make. So that is gonna be our first layer. Let's go ahead and create a, another software instrument track. All right, so let's go ahead and copy down this pattern and uh, we're gonna use another bell preset from ES2 and that is going to be the valley bells. It's gonna sound something like this. So I'm gonna lower this one octave. Just so we get like a low tone in there. Let's go ahead and open up the ES2. I'm just gonna change the first oscillator to a square one. All right, so we get something like that. I think I'm gonna turn on unison as well. Kind of get that like warpy sound. So what we're going to do here is, of course, we're going to lower this. And uh, we're going to sort of push this off of the grid a little bit so it's not hitting at the same time. It's a little bit too fast. So that sounds good. All right, next let's go ahead and create another softer instrument track. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring in Logic's Sculpture. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and copy over this pattern once again. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and change this to a modeled bell. We're gonna do the glockenspiel. And we're gonna bring that down one octave as well. Has more of that closer sound to the one in the track. For this one, I'm also gonna push it off a little bit, maybe a little bit more than this. Off the second note there. All right, let's go ahead and open up Sculpture. And uh, let's go ahead, I'm gonna move the material slider to kind of over the R here. Kind of get it more of like a bell sort of sound thing happening. Let's push this one all the way to the left here. Get a little bit of a ringing in there. All right, so let's go ahead next and uh, just layer all these together. All 
right now we're going to go ahead and just create a track stack of all these sounds and we're going to manipulate this even further all right so the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to open up an eq we're going to take out some of the lows just a little bit there and then we're going to take out some of the highs as well We're going to add in some resonance here. Just to get that ringing out a bit. Next, let's go ahead and bring in a little bit of a delay. We're going to go delay echo. We're going to use the default settings here. We're just going to lower the wet value quite a bit. Next, we're going to bring in another instance of overdrive to kind of bring out this sound a little bit more. Just lower the drive amount, and we're just going to push this tone all the way up. It makes it a little bit brighter. Next, we're going to go ahead and bring in a flanger here. Just to kind of give it that sort of softer sound. We'll use a minor flanger. And then finally, let's go ahead and just round off this sound with a nice reverb. We're going to go to Space Designer. And let's bring in a large a warp space here. I want a reverb with an echo. So let's just take this one over here. Not exactly like the one in the track, but we tried our best using stock sounds here. Next, let's go ahead and create a new software instrument track. And we're going to bring another instance of Logic's ES2. Actually, I want to bring in a preset here from one of our channel strips. Uh, it's going to be the uh, the Drake Blem lead. It has the sound that we're going for. Let's go ahead and draw in this. same pattern. All right, so for this last one over here, I'm just going to take this oh, and put it all the way up. What's going on here? Let's go ahead and just pick this note up and put it up. Yeah. So that's our sound right there. Let's go ahead and just manipulate it a little bit. We're going to go ahead and open up Logic's ES2. It's going to pull down the release ever so slightly so it hits quicker. It's going to make it a little louder. Maybe that's a little too quick. Let's pull that up. All right, next let's go ahead and just... Uh, Gonna open up the channel EQ here and I'm just gonna cut out a little bit of the highs here. Just wanna focus on that mid range part. It's 
It's actually not too much to cut there. So let's go ahead and just bring in another reverb. Use Logic Space Designer. All right, so finally we have completed that main sound. Uh, next, let's go ahead and create a new software instrument track. Let's unsolo all this. And uh, we're gonna copy down this pattern over here. And uh, for this sound, we're going to go over to our browser. We're going to go to uh, Vintage Electric Piano. We're just going to use the first one over here. We're going to take this. And we're going to drag out the chords. Something like this. All right, so that's good just like that. Next, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna go to our channel EQ and we're gonna take out some of the low end here. And I'm just gonna add in some of our own reverb as well. I'm not too sure what's on those buses, but let's go ahead and add in a little bit more verb. All right, so now let's go ahead and create a new software instrument track and start putting in our drums and create an EXS24 sampler instrument. Let's go ahead and start off with our clap, make it nice and loud. Let's turn on mono so we're ready for our 808. And uh, let's go ahead and draw in our clap. Oh, we didn't bring in our drum kit. Let's go to Lil Tecca Ransom drum kit. And uh, let's, well, I called it hi hat by a mistake, but it is the drum kit. And uh, let's go ahead and put in these claps on the twos and fours. Just repeat that. Let's go ahead and draw in those hi hats. We're going to take our brush tool, be a 16th note repeat, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and draw those in. Take that, copy that over the four bars. All right, next let's go ahead and draw in our snares. Change this back to the pencil tool. duplicate this drum track and uh, let's go ahead and draw in our 808 all right let's go ahead and draw that in right now to bring in some overdrive just to kind of bring out this 808 a little bit more so it thumbs harder. We're gonna go to drive about one dB and we're just gonna pull the tone all the way up. This goes a little bit harder there. All right, next is going to create a new software instrument track. We're gonna take off the overdrive. Uh, we're gonna copy this pattern over and it's pretty much 
going to be the same pattern as this for our kick. Punch our kick up there, take all this out. And let's go ahead and layer that up. All right, so we did something wrong there. Let's push this back. So there's the beat right there. I'm just gonna put a pause in the video, quickly arrange it, and then come right back. All right, so we're back. Here is a truncated version of Lil Tecca's track, Ransom. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Listen to the break we just put together, Ransom by Lil Tecca. Let's go. All right, so that right there is Ransom by Lil Tecca. For all you Logic users out there, I'm gonna go ahead and save this entire session for you guys. Place that as a downloadable link in the description box below this video. For you non-Logic users out there, got your back as well. I'm gonna go ahead and export all the mini stems, audio stems, and of course include the drum kit that we used in this tutorial. You can find that entire playback in the description box below this video. If you do have any questions on this, ask me in the comment section below. We can go ahead and chat over there. And if you did like this video, or thumbs up and share it. And if you haven't already, and you're new to I'm a Music Mogul, remember to hit that subscribe button for more good videos like this one. I'll talk to y'all soon. Later. Peace.